Hello fellow humans, this is Daniel Kim. Today I would like to show you how to run the Android Auto in your S2 device. As somebody asked me that they need more love for Android Auto. So for the Android Auto, from now on we are going to use um, Had Unit Reroded app. Um, this is an independent app that works with the RS nav device um, thanks to Emil its app developer with his cooperation we would be able to offer the wireless Android Auto service in the S2 device so how you do it um, you just install the uh, actually the head around head you need rewarded it's a paid app and it will come with your S2 device by default. So to in order to use the Android Auto, you don't need any dongle. But you just run the head unit reload it. Currently I'm using it uh wired with my um Samsung Galaxy S9. So this is what you get uh when you run the um, head unit reload it so in order to use it wired uh, there's only one prep that requires so currently I put the resolution as the maximum one um, I can get good any I can get any good focus but I will try to but as you can see the best is 1920 by uh, 1080 which is the best resolution and just everything could uh, um, remain as default but for the uh, RS nav S2 device you need to disable the sensitive volume control for now it has to be disabled otherwise uh, it will conflict with the our uh, S2 devices volume control so this will be uh, fixing together with Emil's corporation and uh, uh, you can uh, uh, leave GPS sharing enabled but it's I think it would be better to disable the fake speed reporting and everything else we just um, keep the factory default so the important thing is just disable SVC otherwise you your voice guide voice guided navigation on the Google map may crash so it's important to disable it so as you can see I already connected my S9 using the flush mounted USB port down there on the cigarette socket and all I have to do run the Android Auto is just press USB and my Samsung uh, Android is already there and I just press it and we just wait uh, for the initial startup it will take like 10 seconds or things like that so voila there you go the um, the HD resolution Android Auto um, for the nighttime uh, map automatic switching it usually works fine but somehow um, for example for your Samsung phones uh, if you um, enable the uh, the nighttime UI I think it was somewhere here the night mode uh, it will force uh, Android Auto map to be always on the nighttime mode so but before it was stuck in the um, the daytime mode so we'll try just the game I think it's Samsung thing but they never fix it anyway now it's automatic and we are seeing on the map is still daytime oh, what a frustrating um, let's see let's rerun the nighttime okay um, let me see uh, in the Android Auto setup there's few things that you can do like you go to the Android Auto 
and oh actually i need to okay let's see how do you need reload it settings and and then 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 i think there was an option for the day and night control yeah day and night calculation method um i'll put the light sensor because light sensor should be available uh, for this car because s2 is equipped with the light sensor sensitive um control oh, still not working how frustrating and let me try something else uh, night switch night calculation method is calculated sunset and sunrise and then in my android auto which is here and i go to settings and and developer settings and day and night is uh, let's say car controlled and then let me try it again by connecting my phone and let's see <sighs> yeah still day so then we are going to try the handphone controlled. So again, setting developer settings and day and night control is phone controlled. And let me try it again. see what it does so I'm running the head unit reloaded app in USB Samsung and voila yes finally night map so yeah uh, day and night control is um, totally depend on your cell phone, so you may, you need to make the proper setting, and it works fine. It works fine. Um, sound playback works fine, and the steering control works fine. The only problem with the steering control is it's kind of um, a bit difficult. So now the every control is stuck in the music side so in order to switch other side uh, other part i need to press the mode button and then it will bring the keys into the left side and then i can choose the um the the menu selections and uh, if i want to go back i can press it then i think this is button for the google play music i know uh, the focus is pretty bad and i think this is the notification and then this is the sound the only problem that i'm having right now is whenever i want to control the music over there um there's no way for me to go to the music by pressing physical button but i need to touch this area once and then the music control is now um control level with the steering wheel so and I press the mode button and then I put once more and then I go to the and then I run the map and now uh, yeah so for the steering control I think that that's the something that we need um, to make it move all around at once so 
that's one task that but still uh, this HD um, Android Auto looks gorgeous and it never crashes so let me demonstrate um, wireless mode as well so how to the wireless Android Auto uh, first of all on your cell phone you need to um, enable the mobile hotspot so connections in mobile let's put the, and and then you enable the mobile hotspot and make sure that um everything is enabled properly and then once your mobile hotspot is ready you go to rs knob settings wireless ran and you connect to the um the your cell phone's hotspot and then it will be connected and then you go to home and then you run the head you need reloaded and then you press wi-fi and oh i forgot to run the the android auto head unit server so i go to the android auto and settings and i'll go to settings and in order to activate the developer mode you press the version multiple times and then you will be able to see the um develop settings and you need to start the head unit server here and then you just exit on the android auto and then you will try the wi-fi again and wireless technology is in my opinion is not perfect so it takes quite a bit of time so but anyway um, Google Maps is taking some time to running up over the wireless but it's there but for the wireless mode I recommend you to the use the lower resolution so I will just adjust the resolution so in order to stop the Android Auto I tap on my cell phone to access exit driving app and I go to exit and I close my uh, hotspot for a while to be able to be sure yeah so for the wireless mode had you need reloaded you need to go to settings and put the resolution on the something like the 1280 by 720 which is the native resolution and then I turn on the hotspot again and make sure RS knob connected to the the hotspot of the your cell phone I'm just waiting where is my hotspot okay yes my hotspot is connected and then I go to how do you need reload it then Wi-Fi and then there you go the wireless Android Auto which is faster than what it was and the sound works fine so this is wireless totally wireless android auto but frankly speaking uh, i think the response is kind of slow so i recommend you to use the wired connection method but i just want to show you it's possible and for the nighttime control it's always something uh, that you need to figure out with 
I think it's Samsung's one UI problem that is keep causing the map on the daytime mode. So for the automatic switching, I think Samsung need to figure it out, but usually it works fine. Let's say I put the night mode here and then, yeah, there you go. So it's kind of Samsung's problem that the system is keep um, screwing up with the, 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 the nighttime app mode. So yeah, anyway, if the uh, wireless car, uh, Android or auto works fine. So, but frankly speaking, I think it's still uh, much better to use the um, the 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 wired method. But the what is good of the uh, wireless Android auto is you can use the the uh, the fast charging chargers. Uh, for your um, battery hungry cell phone so you won't have any headache uh, that your cell phone's battery running out but as I told you wireless connection is kind of sluggish compared to wired version so but anyway with the Emil's corporation who made a, a absolutely a great um, the head head unit reloaded emulator will make things much better and i still i think it's a very amazing app but uh for the <coughs> steering button support i think we need to figure out how to make um the uh what is it the the, the button control can be uh move this side and that side freely for uh, more uh, control um accessibility so yeah that's pretty much it so here's for the android auto demonstration with more more love i think you are satisfied anyway thank you for uh listening to my last video bye